up, gang? This is the first on the fly, no makeup, quarantine hair kind of vlogging thing that we're gonna start doing these days. We are going to the quarantine version of Canada's largest rib fest. I don't, I don't know, is it the world's largest rib fest? I don't know, but I live in uh, Burlington, Ontario, where we are home to the world's or Canada's largest rib fest. There's a huge park downtown, an awesome beach area where there's tons and tons of rib vendors. And you walk around, you get some good eats, you get some funnel cake and all that good jazz and some ribs. And you enjoy these things at the lake. But COVID happened and everything has been canceled. The Sound of Music Festival canceled. Go! Get up, my road! Move over! Let it pass! Everything has been canceled. But Rib Fest people were like, mm, we can probably still have Rib Fest. So they decided to do Rib Fest, but there's only four vendors now, which is... That is so lame. However, can we complain? Because, no. Stop whining. Your kids are soft. Because we're getting Rib Fest. So anyway, we decided to go check this out. It's in the parking lot of the shopping mall, rather than at the park at the lake. They've made it drive through only, so I don't know if anyone is familiar with a rib vendor, but that's interesting anyways to try to figure out how they're going to do that. So any who's, you have to drive in, and then somebody comes to your car and takes your order. This is what I read at least online. And then you pay your dollars, they bring you your ribs, and you have to leave and drive out. I'm imagining a mosh pit traffic jam of insanity it's gonna I don't know I just I'm thinking it's gonna be a shit show but we're gonna see what it's like and see what it's like you said that already the light is green you can just go you don't have to stop everybody does that just go okay. oh here we go traffic jam has begun so now who goes first me or those people okay so here's a little bit of a problem there's me over here then there's those people who were here first but i'm turning right so i assume i get to go first because i'm in the middle of the road and they're in a turning lane but i'm waiting to get yelled at road rage yeah people are getting pissed off you're never gonna get in here sorry sorry move along go it's very stressful <laughs> Oh, and they said on their advertisements that if you wanted Eastside Mario's Blaze Pizza or Five Guys that you could totally come here and get such things. But I, I don't even want to attempt that this person's going to get so pissed. There's a line behind me. Dude, you're not getting in. Um, did they ever, did they think about the line being backed up onto the road though? I'm not sure that they have pre-thought about this. Honestly, I forgot it was Canada Day, so the malls are closed. I completely, what's Canada Day, even though I'm Canadian. Anyway, forgot the mall is closed, so it's not as much of a ram jam shit show as I thought it was gonna be, but I'm sorry. Ugh, stress, stress. You know what's interesting? When you're stressed, your digestive system turns off. You actually stop digesting food. So, oh. Okay, I made it, but then they made it. Anyway, your digestive system stops working, so this is gonna be a lot of full bellies full of ribs that aren't digesting. But it looks fun though, it looks like an obstacle course. It's gonna be like a very slow video game, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Imagine though, honestly, if they put the amount, I'm trying to think of the amount of vendors that are at Ribfest. I think it's something like 20-ish. No public access. You cannot walk on foot. They will not serve you. Big mistake. Big. Huge. But what the heck? Who actually thought of all of this shenanigan? I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. Because that person wouldn't want that job. Like, look at it. Look at all these cars going all these ways and like everyone's zigzagging to the road to the ribs. Oh. <laughs> I was going to be 
excited. All these people like chilling on the Kelsey's patio, having their beers and having their food brought to them. Like that's the, that's where it's at right now, in my opinion. But this is fun. We can show all the kind people at home. I think most of my subscribers are from the US of A. So this is how we do quarantine <laughs> COVID rib fest up here in Canada. And then how do you pick the ribs that you actually want? Because at the actual rib fest on all of the rib vendors signage it's all like number one reader's choice award number one but on every one so I just go by word of mouth like whatever my friends say they liked the best except for there's one guy who's actually one of these vendors who I really like he's awesome just so down to earth and he's one of the only people that at normal rib fest they do turkey legs which if anybody's a Disney fan you guys all know the uh, the turkey leg fiasco. Yes, thank you. Okay, here we go. Okay, so round one. That dude standing there all day being like, not this way. <laughs> anyway, so they're one of the only places that has a turkey leg. If you like poultry at a rib fest, SOL. You can get half a chicken, but you can't get pulled chicken. You can't rarely get turkey legs but anyway so for this covid rib fest they have taken away the normal menus sad times so every single river is that a new word maybe that's what they're actually called but every single river person has the exact same options it's just the sauce is different so if you don't know your sauce can't help you but Pistol Pete is here and he's cool regardless of the sauce. The sauce is good, but he's cool and I'd rather, you know, what do you think? Put in the comments if you'd rather go to somebody that's cool that has maybe not as delicious sauce or if you don't care if the person's cool and you're going for the sauce because honestly, like I'm a sauce person, but I'd rather support someone who's cool, who's a good person. it's 90 ish degrees compared to in Canada it's a feels like 32 degrees so I believe in the US it's 90 some odd it's hot it's where you shower three times a day and you sweat through all the clothes that you wear all day double laundry and triple showers okay so we have to scan the uh, I see these people scanning a QR thingamajigger the guy the buddy's got the donation bucket on a stick do I have change? Oh no. No, no, don't don't. I'm gonna be that perfect. No, what if just say no. What if I don't have any change? Sorry, no donations for you. We only have plastic. <laughs> You're an ass. You guys have the menu? Uh yes. yes. Perfect. Happy Canada Day. You too. What is the QR thing? It's just the menu. Oh, we do have, okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah, 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 we don't have, uh, we only brought plastic because they said it's no preferred, sweat. yeah. Okay. I mean, you can make a donation online if you'd like, but okay. no sweat, no obligation. Okay, thank Thanks you. For coming. Yeah, thank you. I want commission on my video. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, so we're gonna get the ribs first. Anyways, bye all you guys. See, I heard Camp 31 was good and they are way the hell back there. So, to give y'all Americans an idea on the price, it is 29 Canadian dollars for a full rack dinner. Let me get my currency exchange out. So, 29 American bucks. Okay, it's uh, 21 dollars and 35 cents for a full rack dinner. That's a little bit bend over, but I mean, it's special, it's rib fest, it's fine. Shut up and take my money. Apparently Pistol Pete says wood burning. I guess that's not everyone. You'd think it should be, would be. Hey, I'll look like I am. Oh 
full rack. Full rack? Yeah. Anything else? That's everything. All right, $25. I like to pay with fives. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah. Better than nickels. Thank Let's you. Let's try one up. Okay. Give her a sack of nickels. <laughs> See all the Canadian flags. Do you think that the building property management gave them all flags to use? Or do you think they were like, you know, it's gonna cost you five bucks to hang a flag and show your patriotism. It's funny cause you can see who's an ass. Like <laughs> the people that are like, I'm not doing that. But you know what I would do? I did this at the house that I last owned. All the backyards, I had a pool and all the backyards have pools and everybody had a Canadian flag. And I put a big giant pirate flag <laughs> because I'm like that and I thought it was funny. And so I would be the person with the pirate flag there for sure. We're almost home to have a gander at the beautiful ribs. I hope you didn't get car sick, even though you're probably sitting at home or at work or wherever you are watching this. I'm a, well, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a bad driver. <laughs> Wait for the comments on that. But I think I'm just, kind of erratic <laughs> and I'm driving a vehicle that Chris had said very accurately is it's a giant condom you can't feel anything I was driving a Miata for the longest time and it was awesome because you could just rip around and the car was perfectly balanced and it was made for things like drifting and it was awesome and you could be erratic and it was okay but then I bought this so I could go on an epic cross-country road trip wish I had vlogged that but this car is a giant condom you feel nothing you can't feel the road you can't feel where the wheels are you all you can feel is it's like off-roading if you run over a pebble and around corners it's very exciting because you might tip but you know if your car is paid I don't know I'm trying to find an excuse to buy a new one if this video gets a thousand likes I'm gonna buy a Porsche wait that's not enough likes <laughs> Um, let's just take the dollar value of a Porsche and ask for that many likes and then I will buy one. We're home. Let's go see the ribs. All right, gang, we're back in the house. These are the ribs. Can you smell that? Smell-o-vision? I know I'm being a jerk because you can't smell it, but I feel like there's not enough sauce. Anyways, beauty. So that was our journey. That was the adventure to Canada's largest rib fest. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a good time. I'm really looking forward to doing a bunch of vlogging. You're gonna see a lot of days in my life. Please give this video a... <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna... Over. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> Gimbal died. <laughs> So there you have it. That was our little adventure to Canada's, aka Ontario's, I don't know, largest rib fest. It was small, it was different, but it was neat how they actually went out of their way to do that. During such times, I'm sure we're all very sick of staying quarantined, but I hope you're all well. I hope you're able to have fun wherever you're from. Keep watching the channel because there will be a lot more days in my life, a lot more vlog style stuff, a lot more random adventures, including some other interesting videos that you might enjoy like the previous ones. Please do check out the other videos on this channel because no matter what, no matter who you are, no matter where you're from and no matter what's going on, there are videos on this channel that can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness or body image challenge. So please do hit the subscribe button Subscribing really is where the support does come from and I am so grateful to each and every subscriber. Please share the channel. Anyone could use the info on this channel regardless of little fun videos like this. And if you would like notifications of each time I post a new video, please hit that little bell notification icon down there and you will be sent a notification each time I upload. Until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun exploring this new normal of ours and I'll see you soon. Bye.